Okay, everyone, greetings. Somewhere in Texas, I am on my way to Irving, Texas to pick up a load out of Brake Bush and headed for Virginia. The current temperature is, is 81 degrees. We are down to 5.1 miles to the shipper. A special shout out and gratitude to two biggest supporters of the JBG Travels channel. Uh, JD of Texas and also uh, Paul from Houston, Texas. And of course, who can forget Gene Faust and Peter Locke. Uh, I, I hate to say that because all of you out there really, really do matter. You guys are you guys are important people to my community. I really I appreciate that. Um, I just want to give a shout out to those people. Alright, we are to get up uh, Texas Loop 12 1.3 miles away. Right now, I'm just using one camera. I hope you guys have been enjoying the multiple cameras, especially the trailer cameras. I think that came out really, really well. It takes a lot of work to do it, but uh, it's also challenging and fun. Except for the editing part, it takes a very, very time consuming. But hey, I'll do anything for you guys. So thank you for that. All right, Texas 12 loop south. The first one here is north. That must be uh, Fort Worth, Texas I'm looking at. Probably can't see it. Too far for the GoPro to see it. But I'm looking at a city, it looks like uh, Fort Worth. Okay, where are we going? Uh, we go this way. We're headed west, right? So if we're taking 12 south, why are we going north? I do not know. I can't answer that. All right, we're going to get off a of Union Bauer Road. Unless, of course, we were headed north to begin with, and that means we were headed east. I have no idea. But according to the GPS, hey Karen, wake up. Karen, hello. According to Karen over here, we are headed uh, there she is. We're headed south on the GPS direction. Oh, Karen. Life was good without you. But then again, sometimes. By the way, 
way, on my previous videos, I showcased a battery bank, 12 volt, 7200 milliamp, I think it is. Um, I've been using it for my CPAP machine, and so far it has been phenomenal. I've been incredible. I have used it for two nights now, maybe three, and the battery indicator has not gone down at all. And of course, I am not using any heated hoses or humidifier, so that saves a lot of energy. I made a mistake of putting the battery bank on top of the uh, upper bunk and I got up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom and somehow I was messing around with the fan up there and that battery bank which weighs about six, seven, eight pounds or thing it is dropped down to the floor right next to my feet and I only was wearing a pair of slippers so oh thank god that thing did not land on my feet I would have a, some broken bones and uh, it was okay of course the floor in the uh the floor on the bunk in the sleep area has some kind of a rubber matting to it so it's pretty soft but then again it fell five feet and land on the floor and it's all right so it's a very very well constructed piece of technology my goal is to drain it, see how many nights I can sleep and use it with, you know, before it draw, you know, drains totally dead. And one of my next goal is that uh, once it's dead, I would like to use a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug, plug it to the truck and charge it with 12 volts not with its uh, charger I want to be able to see how long it would take to charge the battery bank using the DC supply of the truck to be able to charge that on the motorcycle all day long using the alternator of the motorcycle while I'm riding it, that thing would be charging right that way when I pull over at the end of the day approaching destination in 800 feet on the right side it should be fully charged Okay. <clears throat> I hope you have it. arrived at your destination on the right side, 2230, uh, in Lower Road. I got two doors available, so. Do 
you want me to pull all the way? What's your name? My name is John. sending us away they've got my phone number so I'm going to do the waiting call Turn left. we are going to go to the truck stop and wait for their phone call and come back later is the truck stop is only 1.2 miles away oh we got to go back to the highway 12 loop Texas restaurant equipment. So I got a question for you. There are people out there that are connected to wealthy people or big companies. In 600 feet, turn left on Walt Walker Boulevard. Connected by DNA, same last name, um, maybe even be relatives, but has no connection whatsoever absolutely no connection to the current owners of that company and then when you see their product that's got your name to it how many of you out there get a little bit interested in It piques your interest. What I'm getting at is, for example, what just happened. I saw the restaurant equipment uh, depot back there. Now, my last name is Valrath. I am a descendant of Jacob, John Jacob Valrath of the Volrath Stainless Steel. For those of you who are in the restaurant business, you would probably be familiar you would be you would probably be familiar to that name of Volrath. They make you know stainless knives uh, trays and make all kinds of restaurant and kitchen wares the Volrath company now my the, the founder The founder of 
the Volrath company was named of uh, John Jacob Volrath, right? But obviously I have never met them. I don't have any personal relationship with them. As far as they know, I don't exist. Eh, maybe, maybe they do because my dad was the last of the purebred Volrath company. In 600 feet, turn right on, connecting road and then approaching destination on the right side in 30 feet. I would imagine that my dad was the last recognized family member because when he was alive <coughs> when he was alive he you know he was part of that family they still own the family they ran the family but by the time my generation came around that family was already owned by somebody else and so anyway to the point is that whenever I see that name they even have Volrath Company trucking they even have uh, yeah, the Volrath Company is pretty big company I mean not the largest but it's pretty big and whenever I see that name I get a little bit you know nostalgic a little bit of a sense of pride but relationship financially nothing I, the only thing I've got in common with them is the DNA and uh, the last name that's it place to park here so the question again what I'm trying to say is is it wrong uh, for me to feel that way why do I feel that way how would you feel if you were in my shoes how do other people that are in my shoes feel about that I'm sure, you know, the largest factories in the world, like DuPont or Johnson and Johnson, the big names out there in the world, they have, they have family, you know, they have people that are connected to them with DNA, but again in the same situation that I am in I know I've been to this truck stop before but paid parking only be towed at owner's expense good grief facing this way are able to get out. I don't know. Out of work for the 
White House. <laughs> zip it, zip it, zip it. Do you think I, I can make a U-turn here? I don't think there's enough room. Yeah, maybe. Just maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, I now I figured why I figured out what those truckers are doing on the side of the road. Oh, look at that trailer. The landing gear buckled. <laughs> Whoever designed this parking lot out of work for the White House. <laughs> Zip it, zip it, zip it. You think I, I can make a U-turn here? I don't think there's enough room. Yeah, maybe. Just maybe. Yeah. Okay. Now I figured why, I figured out what those truckers are doing on the side of the road. Oh, look at that trailer. The landing gear buckled. Monkey see, monkey do. The current odometer reading is 571,345.8. Peace.
current odometer reading is 571,345.8 piece. Okay, I'm gonna try this pad thai uh, with chicken. It's uh, rice noodles with white meat, chicken, and vegetables in a savory sauce, freeze dried. One of those survival kind of a meal. Open lid and uh, discard the observer. Carefully add one and three fourths of a cup of hot water. So let's try this. That's convenient. So let's reboil that, make sure it's nice and hot. I don't know if you can see it. So this is four cups right here, right? That's four cups. So from four down to here is probably two cups. Whoa, holy smokes, that was dangerous. That was very, very foolish. Let's give it a little bit more. There you go. It says here, uh, put some water, stir carefully, and close the zipper. Wait five minutes and then stir again and then close it again and wait four minutes so that should be a problem okay it's been five minutes or so and the instruction is to stir it wow this actually looks pretty darn good Ooh, it's hot. Close it back up. Wait for uh, four more minutes. It tastes good, actually. This is the second pouch that uh, I have tried. I think the other one was a different flavor. I think the other one was a... Uh, Chicken Alfredo, I think it was. Be a month ago, I didn't even remember or I didn't even know these things existed. So, I'm just doing this for practice for uh, my motorcycle trip up to Alaska. But I can't see myself eating this all the time. You know what I mean? It's, it's inconvenient. It's... I don't know if it's even healthy for you. Uh, it says no preservative, no artificial flavors, no artificial co uh, colors. But, you know, it's good in a pinch, I suppose. Okay, here we go, the moment of truth. I don't know about you, but that looks, that looks like uh, the kind that you get at the restaurant. I mean, that, that's pretty good looking quality right there.
pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Let me let me try it. That's good. All right, I'm gonna say my prayers, and uh, we'll catch you later. Peace. All right, everybody. They finally call back. They have uh, requested that I go to door three. next to the uh, KW Good. They signed me to door three. They signed you to door three? You yeah. Sure early? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. All right. Okay? Yes, sir. Well, I thank you. <laughs> Look at that. Thing of beauty. Wow. See, I got my gloves. I got my gloves. Some of you were saying I forgot my gloves. No, I didn't. Yeah, they don't even have a door number. One, two, three. Whew, pretty smelly around here. It smells like chicken. Rotten, raw chicken. <laughs> 